Hi, welcome back to my channel Physics Form 4 KSSM. We continue 2.7 Impulse and Impulsive Force. In this video, I will discuss on second learning standard solve problem involving impulse and impulsive force, and I will also discuss on formative practice 2.7. In my first video, I have discussed about impulse and impulsive force and the formula that can be used for calculation. So let's look at some example. Solving problem involving impulse and impulsive force. Look at the first question. A plasticine ball of mass 0.058 kg is thrown at velocity of 10 m second to the power negative 1. Should be negative 1 here and hits the wall. It sticks to the wall. What is the impulse of the plasticine? What is the formula for impulse? So at first, you can list out all the information given. For example, mass M 0 0.058 kilogram here. Initial velocity 10 meter second to the power negative 1. Final velocity equals to zero because the plasticine ball sticks to the wall, meaning stop moving. So the final velocity equals to zero. Eh? Impulse equals to change in momentum, meaning final momentum minus initial momentum. Okay, so you just substitute all the values. So we get the value is negative 0 0.58 newton second. The value is negative. Why? Because impulse acts in the opposite direction to velocity of the plasticity. Second question. A gopher hits a golf ball of mass 45.93 gram at velocity of 50 meter per second. If the impact time is 0 0.005 second, what is impulsive force acting on the golf ball? Okay, the mass given 0 0.04593 kilogram. Initial velocity equals to zero. Why zero? Because before the golfer hit the golf ball, the golf ball is at rest. That's why initial velocity is zero. And then the final velocity 50, time of impact 0 0.05 second. Impulsive force F equals to rate of change of momentum or change of momentum divided by time of impact. So you calculate the change in momentum, then divide by time of impact. So we get the answer as 459.3 Newton. So you get the value is positive. Meaning, impulsive force acting in the same direction as velocity of the golf ball. Meaning, if the velocity of the ball is to the right, meaning impulsive force acts on the ball also to the right. You can refer to your textbook. This one is formative practice 2.7. Let's look at number 1. In a car collision test, a car of mass 1,500 kg hits the wall with the speed of 15 m per second. The car bounces back with a speed of 2.6 m per second to the power negative 1. If collision time is 0 0.15 second, calculate impulse in the collision. Okay, for this type of question, sometimes you can understand better if you can sketch a bit. Okay, and then you can list out all the values given. For example, this is situation before collision, before the car collide with the wall. Initial velocity u equals to 15 meter per second. This is what happened during collision. The car collide with the wall and become at rest for a while. That one we call it during collision. The force that act here are balanced. Eh? 
same magnitude but opposite direction. So the force that acts during collision, we call it impulsive force. Meaning, impulsive force on the car is equal to impulsive force on the wall but in opposite direction. What happened to the car then? The car bounces back. So this is the car that bounces back. The final velocity V equals 2.6 meters second to the power negative 1. This is what happened after collision. Okay, so now we want to, calculate, want to calculate impulse in the collision. The formula used is change in momentum. So when you want to use this formula, make sure direction must be correct. Here, impulse in the collision is impulse on the car. Direction is to the left. Thus, we take left direction as positive. Meaning, the value of V is positive. Let's look at the value of U. V is to the left, meaning we assume left is positive. U is to the right, thus u is negative 15 meter second to the power negative 1. Thus, when we substitute into the formula, m equals to 1500. Thus, v equals to 2.6 minus negative 15. So, you need to put the negative sign. Thus, the answer will become 26,400 newton second. This is the impulse on the car. Now, we want to calculate impulsive force acting on the car, meaning F. The formula F equals to rate of change of momentum. Change in momentum, also known as impulse, already calculated here. 26,400, so we can just substitute the value here, divide by time of impact, 0 0.15. Thus, we get 176,000 Newton. You can write in standard form, 1.76 times 10 to the power 5 Newton. So, this is the force that acts during collision. How about impulsive force on the wall? So, impulsive force on the wall is equal to negative 1.76 times 10 to the power 5 Newton. Same magnitude but opposite direction. Right, number 2. A football player kicks a ball of mass 450 gram with a force of 1,500 Newton. The contact time of his shoe with the ball is 0 0.008 second. What is the impulse on the ball? In this case, given is the impulsive force. So we can use the second formula for impulse. Impulse also equals to Ft, the product of impulsive force and time of impact. Thus, 1500 multiply 0 0.008. Thus we get 12 Newton second. Okay, B. If contact time is increased to 0 0.013 second, what is velocity of the ball? We, I have discussed about this earlier. For impulse 12 Newton, if we increase the time of impact, meaning the impulsive force will decrease, but the impulse remains the same. So impulse equals to change in momentum. Initial velocity equals to zero. Because initially the ball is at rest. So we want to find the final velocity. Okay. 
So, impulse is 12 equals to mass you must convert to kilogram. So, 0 0.45 times V minus 0. You solve for this one, you will get V equals to 12 divided by 0 0.45 equals to 26.67 meter second to the power negative 1. So this is the velocity yeah, of the ball. So you must understand the concept of impulse and impulsive force in order to solve a huh, calculation problem. So you must go and search more uh, and do more exercise on this topic. So I will stop here for this topic 2.7. I will continue on the next topic 2.8 in my next video. That's all. Bye.